Whiskey Jason here. Whiskey from the viewpoint of an American over here in Germany, often trying rare and exotic whiskies. At least for us over here in Europe, Stellum Vega is very rare and exotic, not even existent on our shelves. This is selected by our um, Dean's Liquor. So we have here cast strength, straight bourbon whiskey. We have a single bourbon barrel. And we have here um, actually 59.05% ABV, single cast barrel number K2. So in America, this is about $55 over here. I got the bottle through a um, collection that um, a U.S. American soldier that was living over here in Germany could not take back to the States because there was open bottles in it. So he could take back his closed bottles, but not his open bottles. And um, he just asked me, hey, Jason, would you be willing to buy all, I think it was 16 bottles in, in total for this one fixed price? And I was like, yes, 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 yes. It was a great price. Very, very great price. And um, the only th stipulation was that um, he could not send the bottles to me because he was moving and he had other things to do. And I had to find someone down in the, in the deep, deepest parts of Bavaria, which is about a six-hour drive from where I live, um, go pick up the bottles, put them in, package them in boxes, and send them off to me. So the guy who did the mule work, who did that for me, got a nice bottle of Wilderness Trail, six-year-old bourbon, one of the, the second to the last bottle in all of Germany um, that was available for sale. And um, yeah, so he was happy. I was happy. Everyone was happy. And so I have the Stellum here. Now, Stellum uh, Spirits was launched in March 2021. Um, and according to the press release, it's a new national brand created to celebrate the modern day whiskey drinker. Come on. All right, what do we have here? The parent company is Barrel Craft Spirits, which is known for Barrel Bourbon, all right, and many other whiskey um, uh, and spirit products. And the ina inaugural flagship includes um, a Stellum Bourbon and a Stellum Rye, both blended. Don't have that here. We have a Stellum Single Barrel Bourbon. We have this here and the Stellum Single Barrel Rye. This was distilled in Indiana. So this is MGP. According to sources online, it's between a five and a six year old product. 59.05%, very, very nice. ABV, castoring, single barrel, and a price of $55, which is actually very, very nice. So um, Stellum just basically um, comes from the Latin word for Stella, which means star. And Stellum has also a meaning of a group of planets concentrated in a house. All right. Um, the thing that I don't understand, I'm not going to research this farther, further, is um, according to an interview conducted with the founder, Joe Beatrice, Stellum uses a dairy chain blending technique. What that means, I don't know. I, I have to go look it up. All right, where a large portion is blended and the rest is topped off with the same recipe and adjusted only with the other cast strength barrels for taste and proof for consistency. This is a technique developed as a hybrid of our technique for constructing barrel batches and the reverse Solera, which Barrel uses for their Barrel Infinity Barrel project. Don't you just love Barrel with a double L barrel and the Infinity, double, the Infinity Barrel project one L. All right, so what am I going to compare it to? I'm going to compare things more and more to not always exclusively to standard products we can get anywhere. All right, so I have here the Wild Turkey Rare Breed for 58.4%, one liter bottle, non-chilled filtered version. So we're running about 58 euros over here. So we dial it down to the, this is one liter, we dial it down to 0 0.7. We're going to get a price of under 40 euros. So that's exactly the same price basically we have over here in Europe at the moment for wild turkey rare breed. So if you're willing to pay a little bit more, to get a little bit more, you can get the non-chill filtered version. I personally, and this is the problem, I like the chilled filtered version <laughs> blind of the wild turkey rare breed better. Chill filtration with bourbons actually get rid of some of the tannins, not just the fatty acids, but the tannin tannins as well. So you're going to have a smoother, less woody whiskey. And um, comparing the normal rare breed with this um, blind tasting, AB tasting, I did not prefer this better, and I wanted to. I actually was a, I want to like non-chilled filter better, and I didn't.
that's just me. I'm weird. I'm wrong. I'm uh, my my palate is misaligned. All these things might ring true for me, but I'm telling you. Um, personal opinion, whiskey from the viewpoint of an American in Germany. It's my viewpoint. I'm hopefully going to tell you in every single video a little nugget of nice information you haven't heard anyplace else. And therefore, um, yes, Stellum Vega. On the nose, the 59.05% are very nicely integrated. No burn, nothing there. I get a little bit of a pecan, almost like a candied pecan. A little bit of wood and a tiny, 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 tiny little bit of pine pitch. This is good. On the nose, this is almost a B minus. B minus C plus plus. Going over to the Woodford, uh, Woodford sorry, the wild turkey rare breed. This has a lot more bite in the nose. More wood. More of the typical wild turkey moment. Now, have I mentioned, not in this video, I actually prefer, this is my order, my pecking order. Wild turkey 101, wild turkey rare breed chill filtered, wild turkey rare breed non chilled filtered. And then towards the end would be maybe the 81 proof of wild turkey, and then we have all these special editions in between. So sometimes I can get an 8. I love the 12. Too expensive for what I'm paying, but it's okay. Uh, Fathers and Son. This, uh, there's so many great, great whisk, wild turkey products out there. I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy wild turkey products. Good. Let's try this. Cheers. Mm. Now there's heat. What would I expect in a 59.05% product? But it's good. I mentioned the candied pecans. I still get that. I get a little bit of brown sugar. I get a little bit of a tobacco. Also a little bit like a root beer moment. Uh, sassafras. This is even like a little bit, not just a little, a little bit, a little bit of an English breakfast tea, breakfast tea, um, black tea moment going on in here. This is nice. If I dilute it down, it gets a little bit better even. Now you can drink this cast strength, but I'm a little bit of wuss sometimes. So I'm going to dilute this down to about 53.5%, so 107 proof. I personally believe 107 proof is the perfect proof for whiskey from America. You have the most viscosity, you have the most flavor, it's exactly, after that it gets a little hot, underneath that it gets a little watery, so 107, the 53.5% the, um, is divine. So let's see what happens here. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is a wonderful sipping whiskey. Oh yeah. I, talk, I keep on talking about those candy, the candy pecans. It's really there. Um, tiny little bit of a uh, the brown sugar molasses moment going on there. Zazafras, uh, the black tea. This is good. Don't forget, um, MGP, they do have not the wooden rick houses, but the, the brick and mortar and the cement warehouses. The things age a little bit different there. I'm not sure when Stellum Barrel actually took the barrels and brought them over to Kentucky to be filled and so on, if there's a lot of aging in Kentucky or not. Well, this is a B minus C whiskey in my book. And for $55 in the States at the moment, I would actually give it a C to C plus for value for money as well. Not many whiskeys out there I'm giving a C plus for at the moment. That's good stuff if you're looking for that. Now it's not, it's an easy sipper. It's just enjoyable. There are not thousands of transitions going on. There's not the depth of a wild turkey 12 year old or something like that, but it's good juice for a good price. There's not much going on with a label and so on, but I think nice bottle, nice design, nice product. Thank you. 
thank you for giving us MGP juice between five and six years of age at an okay price. If I go over here to the rare breed, on the other hand, also not a bad price, but basically uh, 10, 12 euros more for the same bottle size over here. There's a lot more wood. There's even a little bit in comparison to this. This was nice and there was a silkiness and a, and a creaminess over here. This has bite. This has almost a bitterness of the, of the wood tannins going on in here. You get a lot more of the new charred oak going on in here. And that's why I like the chill filtered rare breed better because you filter out some of those tannins as well. Uh, Misters have each for each and every the product. They have their own chill filtration process, their own method, their own size of the filter that they use to make that mixtures exactly like we want it and enjoy it. And here, I think Rare Breed with the chill filtration is a tad better. Better. So sorry for for disappointing you with that statement. And I definitely would go over here if I had the choice between the two of these. I would. Nine out of ten times, I would probably take the Stellum instead of the Rare Breed. Thank you very much for watching, liking, subscribing. Now, um, my question is, you're looking for a 55% ABV, so 110 proof plus bourbon. What do you recommend? Could be single barrel, it could not be, it could be readily available, it could be a local hero, I don't care. 55% ABV, 110 proof plus product. Both of these are that. What would you go for? What would you recommend? What would be your, hey, you have you tried this? If not, please do that now. Um, <laughs> I'm laughing because one of my first thoughts was, I think I'd give him a Bacona single mold cast strength. And I was like, wait, I said bourbon. <laughs> That's why I'm laughing, all right? Uh, 55%. Um, Driftless Glen, single barrel bourbon. I love this stuff. That would be my, my product of choice. Thank you very much for watching, liking, subscribing, telling others, and um, see you real soon. Whiskey Jason here. Bye-bye.